like to give a very special thanks to Mattel for sending these dolls to us as a gift for free. What's up doll collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties, and monsters and ghouls. There's a lot going on in the Monster High miniverse right now. With G3's upcoming release date of October 1st and Monster High Real Drama Dolls release on September 21st of 2022. Which is today for me, but by the time this video goes out, it will be the 24th. Loving the box? Catch your favorite ghouls on the silver scream. Monster High Real Drama. Starring Laguna Blue, Draculaura, Claudine Wolf, and Frankie Stein. Frights, camera, action. Currently priced at $27 on the Mattel Creations website, here is Monster High Real Drama, Claudine Wolf, Frankie Stein, Laguna Blue, and Draculaura. When I started filming this video, they were sold out, but I read in the comments on Instagram that they will be available at Target, Walmart, and Amazon. The doll boxes have a movie theme with rolls of film at the bottom, a marquee arrow and lights, movie tickets, and posters. These ghouls are paying homage to their movie Monstar parents in gorgeous outfits with a pop of their signature color in their hair. Frankie is in electric blue, Claudine is purple, Laguna is turquoise, and Draculaura is hot pink. These dolls look like the OG Monster High. You know, OG as in original ghouls. So does this mean that Monster High is putting out two different lines at the same time? Alumni ghouls with the OG sculpts like the Skelector dolls and G3, the same characters with a whole new look. Sorry, kind of obsessed with Cleo at the moment. On the back of the box, there is a picture of the doll and a little something. Claudine Wolf is the fiercest fashionista at Monster High. And this wolf in chic clothing, out of the box, this doll comes with a doll stand. The base is gray, then we have a clear pole and a nice waist bracket. I like that it's not made out of the same material as the pole because I always break those. These dolls are in a gray scale. Kind of loving the black hair on Claudine. She has very long hair. It's got a little bit of a curl to it. Might need a little attention out of the box. She wears a black jacket with gray fur going around the collar and gray cuffs. A little silver ribbon for a faux zipper. She wears a black choker with painted gems. A necklace, a gray and black top with a ruffle around the neck, glitter animal print, a black belt with painted gems, a dark gray satin skirt with tulle, gray open toe socks, and black shoes with gray painted stripes. She comes with a pet, a little gray crescent with lavender colored eyes. Claudine also has lavender or purple eyes with glitter eyeshadow and black lipstick. She wears off-white pearly earrings and comes with a mini poster. And behind the packaging in the box, there was a bigger poster. One for Claudine and one for me. I totally want to display all of this, but my shelf is full. I've got an idea. You know how I love these little wooden canvases. It measures 11 by 14 inches. I think we can use this to make a display for our dolls, along with two wooden boxes. And it just so happens that when these boxes are side by side, they are the same width as the panel. So I add a little glue and glue the two boxes together. Once dried, I use more glue to glue it underneath the panel. Stand it up. And now we have this board with some storage underneath. We can place the doll on the shelf and display her against the board. 
the shelf is a little on the narrow side, so we might want to come up with an idea for that. We could use foam board. I think the doll needs about three inches. I cut two three inch boards that can go all the way across. And when I measured, I saw that it's a little under 11 inches. I'm using hot glue to glue these together. Then I cover them with black contact paper. This paper has a little sparkle to it and I'm loving the shine. Let's paint the wood. I'm going with black. Of course, you can go with whatever color you choose. I have some purple lights. They kind of look blue, but okay. I'm gluing the battery pack in one of the boxes. Then I run them through the little hole on the side and glue them to the side of the board, going all the way around. Let's add the covered foam board to extend the shelf. Add the poster to make a personalized display for our doll. I place Claudine on the foam board and I can place her accessories on the shelf underneath. There is even enough space to place the original Creeperduction Claudine right next to her. And can we squeeze in the G3 Ghoul Spirit? Yeah, but it is a little crowded. Up next, Frankie. There's a poster. Yes, I already made the stand. And it's pretty thick. It's not like just a regular piece of paper. Really happy they did not fold it. We have a tiny poster. Doll stand, what's it in a grayscale with blue eyes, and a grayscale Frankie with two different blue eyes. Long black and white hair with a blue streak. The hair feels pretty soft. We have white earrings with silver painted skullettes. Loving the black lipstick. Frankie's classic plaid dress in grayscale with mesh sleeves. A faux ribbon necktie with dots, a white collar, a silver skullet pen at the bottom, a black belt with silver painted details, black and white heels, painted stitches, bolts on the neck, and a silver and black bracelet. And now we can display both of our Frankies and store all of the little fun accessories underneath. I'm hanging these on my walls because Frankie Stein is stitched with style and this ghoul is ready to make sparks and limbs fly. It says it right here on the box, Laguna Blue. Here's her poster and the mini, a grayscale Neptuna with turquoise eyes, a grayscale Laguna with platinum and turquoise hair. It does have a little curl to it and it might need a little attention out of the box. She has a silver colored flower in her hair, silver earrings, a little glitter eyeshadow, turquoise eyes, a gray lip color, a seahorse silver colored necklace, her classic look in black and gray, which is a jacket with crop sleeves, a silver ribbon for a faux zipper, a hood with tulle fins, a halter bodysuit with gray tulle attached to the legs, black shorts with gray trim, a silver colored bracelet, black and white wedges, she has removable fins attached to her legs. They have a little sparkle. Attached fins on the forearms and webbed fingers. Laguna Blue is always super chill, but this sea monster knows that drama always lurks beneath the surface. And I'm loving that smoky eye. Last but not least, Draculaura. With a poster, mini poster, Count Fabulous in black and white with hot pink eyes. Here's the creep production, Count Fabulous. And here is the real drama Draculaura. Personally, I think she transitions perfectly into grayscale. Out of the box, her hair seems to be the neatest, styled in two ponytails. Her hair is black and pink, which is her usual hair color, right? Yeah. Only here the hair colors are in large stripes. Like the other dolls, the hair is very long. Her eyes are hot pink. She has smoky eye makeup, glitter eyeshadow, black lipstick, her little iconic heart, safety pin earrings, a white necklace. She wears a black vest with mesh sleeves, lace on the cuffs and at the collar, a white pleated skirt 
stockings that stop at the boot, gray boots with black painted details, and silver heels. Ooh, and her buttons are silver. Not me preferring the real drama Draculaur over the OG. Don't judge me. Although, I would have loved if she came with her umbrella. In fact, I would have loved for all of them to come with their purses and accessories, but maybe those were traded out for the posters and longer hair. And I kind of like the posters. I'm excited to see the ghouls on the shelves again. Their OG style brings back so many memories while being obsessed with the new G3 Clio. As an adult doll collector, I'm loving the options. Let us know in the comments down below if anything caught your eye. And thank you for joining us while we took a look at Monster High Real Drama, made some doll displays with storage underneath and lights. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!